All right, so remember how we were saying AI is like the future, but it costs a fortune to build. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's all about to change. That's about to change big time. Yeah. We've been looking at all these articles right. about OpenAI's new models, A3 and O3 Mini. Yeah. And the crazy thing is O3 Mini is not just powerful. Right. It's going to be free. Yeah, OpenAI is making a free version of ChatGPT. Wow. Available, powered by O3 Mini, probably with a limit. Okay. Like 100 uses per week or something like that, but still. That's incredible. It's a huge shift in how we can all use AI. This is massive. This is massive for entrepreneurs, small businesses. Absolutely. Anyone with an idea. Like, imagine having access to the same AI tech. I know, right? As the big companies. Yeah. Yeah but without the huge price tag. It totally levels the playing field. Yeah. It's like everyone can yeah. suddenly potentially create AI-powered tools or services. Right. Let's break down what makes these O3 models so special. We're talking next-level AI. Right. Yeah. Solving complex problems, writing code, even beating humans on some of these intelligence tests. It's really pretty astounding. Like, yeah. O3 scored 75.7% wow. on the ARC AGI benchmark. It's this test of general intelligence that's been undefeated for five years. And then Before. on the Apokii Frontier Math benchmark, which focuses on really difficult math problems, it got over 25%, which right. again, like... Okay, so those numbers might sound abstract, yeah. but think about, this isn't just about raw computing power. Right. This is about O3 actually reasoning and solving problems in a way that's similar to how we think. Yeah, it's applying logic and reasoning. So for those of us who aren't, you know, coding whizzes or math geniuses, what does this actually mean? Right. How can someone use O3 Mini to their advantage? Well, that's the beauty of it. You don't need to be a tech expert. Okay. To use O3 Mini, let's say you're overwhelmed by a huge spreadsheet. Yeah. O3 Mini can analyze it for you. Okay. Pull out important insights. Oh, interesting. Or imagine you're running a small business and you need a chatbot. Right. To handle customer service inquiries. Yeah. O3 Mini can take care of that. Exactly. Freeing you up to focus on other things. And it can adapt to the task at hand. You can adjust what they call its thinking time. Okay. So it'll spend more time on harder problems. Yeah. And then deliver faster results for simpler ones. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. But with all this power becoming so available, I mean, what about safety? Yeah. OpenAI isn't just letting this loose without any precautions, are they? No, they're being incredibly cautious. Okay. They're doing all this public safety testing with researchers to try to find any potential risks. Okay. And they've also developed something called deliberative alignment. Deliberative alignment. That's intense. It is. It's essentially about building safeguards into O3 Mini. Okay. It goes beyond like the traditional safety measures okay. by using the model's own reasoning ability to actually prevent misuse. So they're teaching O3 Mini to be responsible. Oh, exactly. It's like ensuring this powerful tool remains beneficial. Yeah, so now the big question, when can we get our hands on this? Yeah. Right. This game-changing tech. It's scheduled for the end of January 2025. Oh, wow. That's just weeks away. Yeah, just a few weeks away. I mean, this feels like the start of a whole new era for AI. It really does. It's going to be fascinating to see what people create. It is. We're likely to see this huge wave of new products and services Yeah. as people leverage this new technology. Especially since that barrier to entry is suddenly so much lower. I mean, anyone with a good idea right. can potentially build something incredible. With O3 Mini. Yeah. And that's what's so exciting. It really opens up the possibilities for innovation. Yeah. In a way we just haven't seen. And I'm particularly interested in how people can actually use O3 Mini to generate income. Like, what are some real world yeah. examples? Well, we've already touched on consulting. Yeah. You know, using O3 Mini to analyze data or help businesses develop their own AI strategies. Yeah. Right. And because O3 Mini is free, that just drastically lowers the cost of offering these services, which means Shittically. potentially higher profits. Another avenue is education. Oh, interesting. Creating online courses, workshops, teaching people right. how to utilize O3 Mini. Okay. For everything from coding to marketing to even creative writing. That's a great point. Yeah, there's going to be huge demand yeah. for people who understand yeah. how to use this technology. Exactly. Like, like, yeah. There's even the, the potential to build like an online community oh, okay. around O3 Mini, providing resources and mentorship to other users, and then right. you can monetize that through memberships or premium content. So many possibilities. Yeah. The key is to be creative and think about how O3 Mini can be used yeah. 
to solve problems yeah. or provide value exactly. in new and innovative ways. And to be ready to act when it launches because this oh, yeah. is this yeah. is a huge opportunity. Speaking of being ready, what are some skills people should focus on to, you know, make the most of O3 Mini? It, is it all about coding? Well, coding is definitely helpful, Okay. but it's not the only thing. Understanding like the fundamentals of how AI works right. and learning how to communicate with it effectively through what's called prompt engineering. Prompt engineering. Yeah. What's that? Prompt engineering is like learning the language of AI. It's yeah. like the better you are at crafting those instructions, the better the output you'll get from O3 Money. So it's about understanding how to give it the right directions to get what you want out of it. Precisely. And thankfully, there's tons of resources to help you learn these skills. Okay. You know, OpenAI has great documentation and tutorials on their website. Right. Plus, there's countless online courses and communities oh, yeah. dedicated to AI and machine learning. So no excuses for not getting up to speed. None whatsoever. This is like yeah. a wide open frontier. And the people who are willing to learn and experiment are going to be the ones who strike gold here. Speaking of gold, let's talk about some real world examples of how people are already making money with AI. Yeah. I mean, we've seen this boom in like AI generated art and music lately. Is that something people could replicate with O3 Mini? Absolutely. Yeah. Platforms like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion use AI to create art, and some artists are selling those pieces wow. for thousands of dollars. We're also seeing AI being used to write marketing copies, scripts for videos, even composing original music. It's mind blowing how quickly things are changing. I know, it's incredible. And with O3 Mini becoming freely available, uh, I mean, these possibilities are just gonna- Oh yeah, it's gonna explode. Explode yeah, even further. For sure. So like, imagine like a freelance writer. Yeah. Using O3 Mini to generate high quality content right. faster allowing them to take on more clients and increase their income. Exactly, or a realtor using O3 Mini to create personalized property descriptions or like virtual tours. Oh, that's interesting. You know, tailored to each client. Okay. They can spend less time on those tasks and more time actually building relationships and closing deals. So the possibilities really are kind of endless. Yeah. The key is to identify areas where O3 Mini can amplify your existing skills. Yeah and create more value. It's about working with AI, right? not seeing it as a threat. Okay, so we've talked about skills, opportunities, the ethical considerations. Right. Let's come back to O3 Mini specifically. What sets it apart from some of these other AI models out there? One key advantage is its flexibility. Oh. You know, you can adjust the thinking time. Right. Which is essentially how long it spends processing information before giving you an output. Right. So short thinking time for quick tasks. Okay. Longer thinking time for more complex problems. So it's like having a an AI Swiss army knife, adaptable to kind of whatever you need it for. And then the other huge factor is the cost effectiveness. Right. You know, open AI making O3 mini free. Right opens it up to this much wider audience. It's a game changer. Yeah. Especially for like startups and small businesses. Oh, absolutely. That maybe don't have the budget for some of these expensive right. AI solutions. Yeah. It gives them a real fighting chance. Yeah, and don't underestimate the power of its integration with ChatGPT. Right. ChatGPT is already so widely used. Yeah. And adding O3 Mini's capabilities to that platform just gives users an even more powerful and intuitive yeah. way to work with AI. It's like they're supercharging ChatGPT, giving right. it a whole new level of intelligence. Yeah, exactly. And with its user-friendly design, ChatGPT is the perfect platform oh. for people to start experimenting with O3 Mini. Now, you mentioned earlier that OpenAI is doing extensive safety testing Yes. with O3 Mini. Can you tell us more about that process? Yeah, they're taking this really multifaceted approach. Yeah. So they're bringing in external researchers okay. to do independent audits, looking for any potential biases or vulnerabilities in the system. All right. They're also doing something called red teaming. Red teaming. What's that? Red teaming is where you deliberately try to break the model. Oh, interesting. So they're like feeding it adversarial prompts or trying to manipulate it into okay. producing, you know, harmful outputs. So they're trying to find the weaknesses exactly. before they release it to the public. Find the weak points and make the model more robust. It's reassuring to hear. Yeah. So shifting gears a bit, we've talked a lot about the potential benefits of O3 Mini. Right. But it's important to acknowledge that no technology is perfect. Right. Are there any potential downsides or risks sure. associated with it? 
Yeah, there are definitely some challenges we need to consider. Okay. One concern is job displacement. Okay. As AI gets more sophisticated, some jobs that are currently done by humans will likely be automated. The classic robots taking our jobs scenario. Yeah, to a certain extent. Right. But it's crucial to remember that AI also has the potential to create Oh, new jobs and new opportunities. So it's all about adapting. Right. Learning how to work with these new technologies and, you know, acquiring the new skills exactly. that are going to be in demand. It's about collaborating with AI. Right. Rather than fearing it. Okay. Another concern is the potential for misuse. Okay. Like any powerful tool, O3 Mini could be used for harmful purposes, right. like creating deep fakes or spreading misinformation or even developing autonomous weapons. Those are serious concerns. They are, absolutely. So it's really important for the AI community to work together yeah. to develop ethical guidelines, safety protocols to try to prevent those kinds of abuses. So proactive measures are needed. Yes. To ensure that AI is used for good. The future of AI is really in our hands and it's our responsibility to guide its development. In a positive direction. Well said. Yeah. Now, before we wrap up, let's come back to like the financial aspect of all of this. Right. We've talked about a lot of different possibilities here. Right. But for someone listening who's thinking, okay, this is all very interesting, but how yeah. can I actually make money with this? Yeah. What would be your advice? I would say first, identify your niche. What are you passionate about? What problems can you uniquely solve yeah. using AI? Don't just jump on the AI bandwagon because it's trendy. Right. Figure yep. out a way to make it work for you. Exactly. And once you've found your niche, start experimenting. Okay. Play around with O3 Mini. Yes. See how it can enhance your existing skills or help you develop new ones. Right. And don't be afraid to fail. Yeah. Every mistake is a learning opportunity. Treat O3 Mini as like a creative partner. Yeah. Bouncing ideas back and forth and see what you can come up with. That's a great way to approach it. Yeah. And don't forget to connect with others. Yeah. Who are also exploring this space. Join online communities. Go to meetups. Share knowledge and experiences. Collaboration is key. It is, especially in a field that's evolving as rapidly as AI. Absolutely. We're all on this journey together. We are. And with the launch of O3 Mini just weeks away, right. the time to start preparing Thanks. is now. All right. So we've covered a lot of ground here talking about the potential of O3 Mini the skills to learn, and the ethical side of things. Yeah, definitely. But let's get down to brass tacks. For our listeners out there thinking, okay, I'm ready to jump in, but how can I actually make money with this? Right, right. Where should they start? You know, I'd say start with a good old brainstorming session. Think about your skills, what you're good at, and how Low 3 Mini could boost them. Could you make something new, a product or a service maybe? Like you mentioned freelance writers earlier. Could they use O3 Mini to crank out content faster? Maybe even specialize in AI-generated stuff? Website copy, social media posts, that sort of thing? Exactly. Or think about marketing, customer service. Those areas are ripe for AI to shake things up. Imagine an entrepreneur builds a platform using O3 Mini to make custom marketing campaigns for small businesses, the kind of thing they couldn't afford before. I like that. Taking something that was only for the big guys and making it available to everyone. That's the key. Finding those gaps in the market and plugging them with solutions powered by O3 Mini. And the beauty is you don't need a huge team or tons of cash to do it. This tech really levels the playing field. So it's about being resourceful, creative, spotting those opportunities early on. Absolutely. And don't be afraid to try things out, see what sticks. Don't get discouraged if your first idea doesn't work. Learning as you go is valuable, too. It's like O3 Mini itself is an experiment. We're all figuring this out as we go, right? I think that's a great way to look at it. It's an exciting time to be in the AI world. So as we wrap things up here, what's the one big takeaway you want our listeners to remember about O3 Mini and this whole AI revolution? Hmm. I'd say it's this. The power to shape the future of AI isn't just for a select few anymore. It's in everyone's hands. With O3 Mini, the barriers are lower than ever. So whether you're a business person, a creative, or just curious about the possibilities, the time to dive in is now. It's an invitation to be part of something big, something that's really changing things, to build, to solve problems, maybe even invent a whole new career. That's the promise of O3 Mini. And the best part, we're just getting started. This is definitely a deep dive we'll revisit as things develop. Thanks for joining us and helping us break it all down. It's been a pleasure. And to all our listeners, as always, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep.